Hey guys, uh, so I think the reason why a lot of people have trouble understanding bipolar disorder is because of the name. With the name bipolar, it really looks like it's a disorder where you have um, mania or psychosis and depression at the same time. And the confusion gets more when we talk about that there's two different types and you need to just forget this and I'm going to show you how to remember or reinforce what bipolar really is. Cyclothymia is another disease uh, that falls under the bipolar kind of spectrum of bipolar disorders. So I'm going to go over cyclothymia as well. So let's erase this. Now, bipolar 1, so there are two types of bipolar disorder, and I'm going to go over the types and then um, the components on them. So there's 1, and there is 2. Bipolar 1 has manic episodes. It must have manic. It can have depressive episodes, but it's not a must to have that in your, to diagnose it as bipolar one. So I put plus or minus depressive. For bipolar two, you must have two things. Hypomania plus more than one depressive episode. So we know what depression is. But understanding what mania versus hypomania is difficult because we just remember that typical, you know, runs around at night, goes shopping, is impulsive, but you don't really know the difference between mania and hypomania. So what mania is? Is a psychotic episode. So, in hypomania, there's no real loss of functioning. And it's less severe than in mania. So another thing of note is that in hypomania, you are more or less in touch with reality. So you're in touch with reality. And what overlaps between these two, mania and hypomania, is the pressured speech, impulsivity, So those are there. Now, if you look at bipolar versus cyclothymia, I just want to point out that with bipolar one and two, each one, you know, it's about a week of symptomatology that you need to diagnose each. So for bipolar one, you need about one week. And bipolar two, you need more than four days. But for cyclothymia, cyclothymia, you need two years of symptoms. And these symptoms are like bipolar 2 light. So I call this BPD light because 
you have fluctuating hypomania, but it's not really hypomania, and depression, which is not really depression. So it's things that are like symptomatology that's like hypomania, but it's sub-hypomania. It's, I wouldn't even call it sub, it's like not quite hypomania. And not quite depression. They don't meet the criteria for hypomania and depression, but they have symptoms that are very similar and almost meet the threshold for hypomania and depression for two years at least. And you've reached the end of my video.